Today, we're going to learn about the letter G. 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 We're going to learn about a bunch of different words that start with the letter G. Can you think of any word that starts with the letter G? <gasps> Those are great ideas. Yeah, so G starts, um, some words that start with the letter G are G goat or G garden, G gift, G girl. Do you know any more? Yeah, G ghost, G green, G give, G glue, and G grapes. All those words start with the letter G. And I'm so excited you're here because I'm ready to learn. And if you're ready to learn too, give me a big thumbs up. And let's do our warm up. Are you ready to warm up? If you are, give me a thumbs up. All right, let's get started. Hands up high, touch the sky. Wave them around, up so high. Hands down low, touch your toes. Wiggle and giggle, see how it goes. Hands to the side. Now let's clap. Clap and smile in a snap. Hands up front, then back in. Ready to learn, let's begin. Alright, let's do some counting. We're going to count some goats. G goats. And goats start with the letter G. G for goats. Alright, let's see how many goats are up here. Well, we have one goat, two goats, three goats. But who's down here? We have four goats, five goats. What comes after five? We have one more. I see your little friend. Six goats. Six goats grazing in the grass. So cute. All right, let's do a little bit of science. We're going to take a look at the different parts of a goat. The different parts of our goat. All right, well, I see some parts on a goat that are also parts on a person. Our goat has a nose, nose. Our goat has eyes, eyes. Our goat has a also has some parts that are different from us. Our goat has a tail. Our goat has hooves. And our goat also has a beard. So cute. All right, now that we've learned about the different parts, of a goat. Let's go ahead and head on over to the art studio where we're going to draw some good grapes. All right, we're going to draw some grapes. We're going to draw some grapes. Here we go. Let's first write the word grapes. Let's start off with our capital letter G. We're going to start off with a letter C shape. Go up and a 
line across. Next we'll do a lowercase r, so we'll do a line down, the little curve at the top. Grr, a, 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 that's an A sound. So we'll draw a circle with a line. Grr, grr, a, p, p, p. Oh, that sounds like a letter P, so we'll draw a line down. The line around and out, and back in at the bottom. Grr, a, ps. Now that's a long A sound, which means there's an E on the end at the end, a long E at the end, a bossy E to make that long A vowel. E at the end, gr ape, grape. So this is grape, but I wanna spell grapes. S that means there's an S at the end, an S at the end for grapes, grapes. Good job. Let's draw some grapes. Let's start with a circle. Let's add a curving line on either side of the circle. And one more curving line on either side. Below, let's draw one, two, Three curving lines. And we'll do another row. One, two, three curving lines. We'll do another row, but with two hops. One, two lines. And then we'll just do one curve at the bottom. Let's add a two curving lines at the top for the stem. Let's connect with the line from the stem. Let's add spirals going out on either side. And now we have grapes. Let's color in our grapes. I'm going to color my stem brown. And I'm going to color my grapes purple. And just like that, your grapes are done. Hello, welcome to Craft Corner. We're going to be making a letter G artwork for giraffe, or craft anyways, a craft for a giraffe. We're going to need a toilet paper roll and either scissors or some tape and, uh, or glue paper. So let's find a giraffe colored paper. I'm going to grab my yellow. There it is. All right. We're going to take our paper and make it the long way. This is landscape or hot dog. And we're going to fold it in half. Fold it in half. open it we can see a line down the center and we're going to use that line to help us cut in a straight line so pointing the scissors away one hand to cut and one hand to hold fold 
that line, just like that. I have two halves. We're gonna keep one to the side. We're gonna attach the other half. Now we'll be the perfect size for our famous paper roll. Beautiful. glue or tape it on. Now once it's attached, we can roll it up. Okay, now I'm just gonna add a little bit of tape. Or you can use glue to the back. And just like that, it's attached. And now we have a yellow toilet paper roll. Alright, so our giraffe needs some ears and some popcorn. So we're going to take our little marker. We're going to draw the horns first. Okay. And I'm also going to do two ears.
our face. So we're gonna make a giraffe face. We're gonna draw a circle on the center for this now. Of our giraffe. We'll do two eyes, two circles, color them in for eyes. And then once we have our eyes, we can grab our brown again and we're going to add some brown spots around our And once you're done, adding your spots and all your giraffe details, your lovely giraffe is done. Hi, my friend. Thank you so much for learning with me today. I am so glad that you joined me. You made my heart full. I hope to see you in our next learning venture together, parents and teachers, for more art ideas for kids, visit artastickids.com or for teachers you can go and find art lesson plans at the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers store by searching Ms. Artastic on TPT. Links below and in the description of the video. See you next time.